Hi Libras, welcome to Terribly Accurate. If you're new um, or returning to my videos, thank you so much for showing up for these. I encourage you to um, look in the description box below because there I've written you a big love note about how much I appreciate you for all of your awesomeness. And then I also put really cool links there to figure out your moon sign, your rising sign. Um, to other helpful videos like the Chords of Attachment release one, a bunch of other resources so that we could save some time here in the beginning. So this is for um, your love reading. Let's see, we are on, this is for November 11th through December 11th. And we're gonna start with single Libras. And if Libra is your sun, moon, or rising, then um, take the parts of this that resonate for you and leave behind the parts that don't because it is a general reading. Personal readings are always going to be um, much more tailored to you. So in general, before we start with singles, it's saying you guys are not getting enough sleep. You're not getting enough rest, okay? So that's a big message for Libras right now. Um, try to find the time for that if you can. Okay, so single Libras, November 11th through December 11th. What do we have? Ooh! New opportunities for relationships that are more honest, that um, have better communication, like the kind of partner you can talk to. I mean, sometimes we go after people because they're good looking or they're funny and um, just can't connect on an intellectual level, so that's really good. Um, but for some of you, it feels like you've been waiting a really, really long time to meet this kind of a person. Um, maybe that's why you're holding out, single still. <laughs> But the deal is here that um, you're becoming a little bit uncomfortable with being single, right? You just want that to be done. You kind of want to just, um, just people that you're dating, if you're not, if you're not connecting with them on an intellectual level, if they're not always being 100% honest with you, that's saying um, if you're casually dating that it's maybe just time to tell them like you're no longer interested and kind of move on because you do have a good opportunity this month to meet someone. Um, but you're afraid and um, a little bit heartbroken to do that because they do have good qualities that, that you're looking at. But if you're totally single, obviously skip that part. What else for single Libras? Sorry, your cards are so jumpy. I feel like Libras often have jumpy cards. Like there are just things that um, you need to know right now. So this is one. Um, where it's just saying some of you are um, perhaps challenged to be honest about the, about certain things with certain people that you're meeting or even about your feelings like in that regard. You know, you might um, have the tendency to ghost people and not really tell them why you're no longer interested. Um, a lot of you are kind of confused though as to what it is that you want. So you say, well, you know what, I'd really like a partner like this, or I'd really like a partner who has these qualities, or these ones, or these ones, or these ones. And you're all over the place, and you're kind of confusing yourself as to what it is that's important to you in a partner right now. And um, the thing that's annoying about that is that then the law of attraction can't do its work and bring you the kind of person that you want. You have to get clear on what it is that you want first, okay? And it's interesting that the Knight of Cups shows up in reverse saying, you know, with the Knight of Cups, Cups are love, right? Love and emotion, romance, and the Knight's on a horse, and so he's come, kind of coming to bring it to you. It's saying until you can get clear on what it is that you want, though, you can't manifest it, you can't attract it. So that could be what's going on for some of you Libras. But for those of you who are trying to um, manifest or attract someone who is smart, who is honest, that could be coming this month. What else is up for Libras, November 11th through December 11th? Oh, happily ever after. So if you are able to get clear on that, you might meet your forever person. That's really great news. Um, but it's saying, be careful that you are uh, manifesting and asking for the kind of person who will bring you emotional fulfillment, okay? The kind of person who will make your heart swell with love. Um, some of you aren't able to attract that either because you haven't quite left emotionally or in your thoughts um, an ex-lover behind, an ex-husband, an ex-wife, an ex-girlfriend, an ex-boyfriend. So um, you might want to work on that. Um, and you can do it without talking to them. You can do it 
without having a conversation with them. You, they don't need to know how you feel or that you're moving on if you are already separate, right? You're already living separate. You're already watching the singles video because you're single. So you don't have to tell them how you feel. You just have to do that work yourself. And it's all up here. It's all in your mind. Um, so maybe that Chords of Attachment help video could help you. So for those of you who are coupled, and if you're somewhere in between, if you're back and forth, if you're separated but you're still married, you might want to watch both parts of the video. Um, but for coupled Libras, November 11th through December 11th, what do we have? Not enough romance. And But that could be coming to the end of a cycle, okay? So maybe, the, maybe you've been focused on other areas of your relationship recently, okay? And, um, you know, been really work-focused or something like that. That time period is coming to a close now. And so um, you'll want to offer romance in order to receive it. And this is saying with your partner, it's a really good time to pay attention to the details, especially if your partner is um, a words of affirmation type of um, love language, okay? You want to point out the little things to them and say, wow, thank you for doing this, or you look really handsome today, or you look really beautiful in that dress, something like that. Um, this one, it's saying it doesn't feel, minus the romance right now, that things are moving ahead like in as positive and um, wonderful of a direction as you wished. But getting creative ideas on how to bring that romance and love back into your relationship is something to get excited about and to work on because if you don't, you'll be disappointed and heartbroken, okay? Now, some people read that card as infidelity. I don't always. Um, some of you may be experiencing that, though, right now, I'm feeling. I don't feel like it's for the majority of it, so I hate to even bring it up, but, but a, a few of you. But you kind of already know this. It's just about letting your partner know that you've caught them, that you're on to them, um, and that could be the, wa the reason why maybe there's less romance right now. But you'll be fair about it the way you bring it up. And you kind of know that things don't change overnight. But maybe your fear is that that would be what happens, that it upsets your stability. Um, so I hate to throw a wrench in, in otherwise good news. <laughs> Sorry. But I have to be honest. I can't lie about your cards. So this is saying hold on to the things that are most important to you even when you feel emotionally imbalanced. Take some time to really think Think things through once you know. And then um, putting your thoughts and your hopes and your wishes and your dreams out into the universe, making prayers. Um, because things might turn out better than you even expected that they could. Now, again, happily ever after here for you. This is, you know, a couple and maybe their children. And it's all sunshine and rainbows, isn't it? <laughs> Ten of cups. It doesn't get better. It's your happily ever after. So that is possible for some of you this month. Um, but so, I mean, unfortunately, if you're one of those who is in that kind of a relationship where maybe there's some infidelity, um, your happily ever after is coming and it could be with this person. It might not be. But I feel like that's a very small percentage of you. For the rest of you, it's more that you just have to infuse more romance into your life into your relationship, notice the details with your partner, and things will be going in a better direction. It says that it's slow moving, like um, things in regards to home and work, they're going to be slow moving anyway. So like at least you can pick up the pace in the romance department. <laughs> so if you're waiting for your relationship to move up to the next level, if you want to move in together, if you want to get married, if you want to have a child, things like that, um, that is also likely to be slow for you this month. I wouldn't set expectations because that's how you could get hurt. Um, big changes are coming that are going to lead to new, better beginnings in your relationship um, where there's less selfishness going on. So maybe one of you in the relationship has been acting a little bit selfish right now and not giving enough love. But that whole thing about romance, that's what I'm saying. And for you, specifically for Libras, if you were just to get a little more sleep, you would be happier in your relationship. Your lack of sleep is kind of messing you up a little bit and it doesn't give you the passion and the excitement to meet the challenges of a relationship because relationships are work, right? And um, sometimes we just can't give our relationship our all. We can't give all of our love 
um, to our partner 100% of the time because we just don't have the energy. And that's where that energy is going to come from. Um, some of you are missing opportunities to show love to your partner, and it's because of that lack of sleep. Like, maybe they're hinting at you, and you're not picking up on those details is kind of what I'm getting. And, and so they're starting to feel kind of sad and depleted. So you've got to... Um, You'd, you'll, it'll pay off for you. You'll be really, really happy if you do take a moment to look at what they need and what would bring them joy and be romantic in that way. Um, you've got the temperance card in reverse saying that maybe emotionally um, you're a little bit detached right now in your relationship. And it's not to say your relationship is in danger, but actually the very first thing that you need to do is take some time to rest for yourself. And for some of you, that may mean a rest from the relationship, a little break. But for most of you, it's actually physical rest. It's actually sleep. So I hope that you guys find this helpful. If you'd like a personal reading to help out um, more specifically with your scenario, my contact information is below in the description box. Love and light, and I will see you tomorrow for your daily reading. Bye.